Making fresh pasta is a very old tradition, but it wasn't until the 14th century when reliable pasta machines came onto the scene that fresh pasta became less of a luxury and more of a food staple. And after eight centuries, I'm guessing that hand-cranked pasta machines have come a long way, Adam. They have, Julie. You don't need quite as many surf stock right, <laughs> as you do the old ones. You know, making fresh pasta is so much easier with a machine than it is when you're rolling it out by hand. And these are all manually operated machines. How they work is there are two rollers in there that get cranked with a handle. You change the distance between the rollers to change the thickness of the pasta that you're feeding through there. You go progressively from thicker to thinner to thinner to thinner as you continually feed the pasta sheet through. When you finally get to the thickness that you want, you can use one of the cutting attachments to cut it into separate strands. Now, we have this lineup of four different machines. The price range was $32.75 to $69.25. They're all designed to take pasta sheets that measure about 150 millimeters or six inches across. And you'll never guess what we did to test <laughs> pasta machines. Mm. Testers made a lot of pasta in the <laughs> test kitchen for these things. They used every single setting. They measured the thickness of the pasta sheet at each setting, measured the consistency from edge to edge. They also paid attention to how the thickness adjustment knobs worked, how the cranks worked, whether the whole thing felt like it was solid. They also paid attention to how well the cutting attachments worked because they took the pasta sheets and then cut them into fettuccine and angel hair. The good news is that all the machines cranked out pretty decent pasta. The less good news is that not all the machines could cut the strands separately. Why oh. don't you pick up one of those? That's well, that fettuccine. would be a bummer after all that work. Yeah, that's a beautiful strand of fettuccine. Yeah. They're all nice and separate. Check all out right. the other pile. Oh, this is a double strand. Oh. That's from a machine that had a lousy cutting attachment. It didn't cut all the way through the sheets of pasta. So the testers had to go in there and manually separate mm -hmm. the strands, which is not acceptable. acceptable. Definitely not. When all was said and done and all the pasta sheets were rolled, we are standing right in front of the winner. That is mm. the Mercado Atlas 150. Ooh, that's smooth. It's really well made. It's got a nice wide range of thickness settings, so you can put a big chunk of pasta in at the beginning, but mm. you get a super thin sheet out at the end for making ravioli or stuffed shapes. This one was $69.25. So if you want to keep with tradition and hand roll your own pasta, buy the Mercado Atlas 150 Wellness Pasta Machine at $69.25. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>